Well, finally, it's here. You didn't stop asking for it, so I had to create it. The Discord is there, you can join it, it's free. And I've also been secretly working with a select group of traders to help them achieve their goals, and we're not ready to expand the community. It's open to all levels of experience. However, to ensure that the group is built with dedicated and motivated traders, all applicants will have to complete the application form. For more information and to apply, you can just visit the Discord group. Alright, so if you saw my previous video where I showed my Monday's trading, uh, you can see that there was a gap that was left when we opened up on Monday, the weekly gap, right? And since we didn't fill it up during Monday, when I opened up on Tuesday, I was ready to see a grab of all the liquidity that was residing, not only, sorry, this is not the today's low. This is the yesterday's low. So not only it was residing below the gap, but also below the yesterday's low. So a lot of things to grab right there. So right on Tuesday, I was ready to see that. So I just opened up my charts at seven. I'm really grateful to all of you. I very rarely get bad comments in my videos compared to a lot of traders out there at least. I think it's mainly because I'm really honest and open in my videos and I show you all of my work and data. You can see the numbers behind the system and the consistency with my setup. But for the curious out there or just anyone self-doubting that ICT concepts work, I try sometimes to give proof. So I took a screen recording of this trade where you can see my thought process. I know I don't have to do that, but I just try to be transparent and show people that trading is real and possible. And then once we reach the gap, the yesterday's low, I was ready to see a reaction. So we got one small right there, but you can see that there was no high sticking out, so I didn't take this one. And the displacement is not as pretty as I like them to be on US 100. Another farewell gap right there, but no high sticking out. Then I saw this one. So you can see that there was a farewell gap in there. We broke all of those highs. However, I didn't like very much those candles. Usually on US 100, I like to see one beefy candle, a huge one, but someone could have taken the trade and then covered their stop loss right there. I'm going to show you which leg I took. Exactly this one. Then I just put the stop loss. Below this low, just to make sure, you could use maybe this one, but I prefer just having something more secure. And because based on my data, at least, I saw a lot of time when gaps, weekly gaps open up, uh, we see some great reaction from those levels. So I allowed like a bigger take profit on this one, but you will see on my recording that something happened and uh, anyway, you'll see. So once this high was sticking out, you could have put the trade and then the rest will be into the live recordings. Let's check it. So this recording actually lasts 20 minutes, but I had to uh, make it faster. In here, I'm actually saying that we might eventually go to take out the today's high. As you saw in many of my videos, we usually go grab the decree that is residing there. And I also talked about the fact that the feds were actually talking during this trade. I usually don't like to trade during those times, but what happened is that my trade triggered right before the feds were talking. And because I was already in some profit right before, I just said, okay, why not just put my trade to break even and then just let it ride. But you need to be cautious when doing that because even if you have your stop loss at break even, because of slippage or even something that the Fed say, because of uh, the high volatility, you might see your trade get close at a loss. So this is something to be very aware of. So I would not suggest anyone doing that. And then this is when the battle starts because I was at almost a take profit. I was at more than 3% profit. But then I'm explaining here that I'm, I'm practicing my discipline because this is something that you need to practice. Holding trades, you you're not just born with that. We're actually born with the complete opposite. We always want to bank profits and to let losers run. I think it's because the human want to protect them themselves, right? And secure things when they have them. So this is something you need to practice. You can do it on demo. You can try to do it on live with a very, very small account. Something you could use to do that is, for example, letting 1% of your open position run. And you'll see that eventually, maybe it will reach your take profit. Maybe it will reach the stop loss, but at least you're practicing to see a trade run, to see the fluctuation in your trade. Then I'm explaining here that we saw a nice rejection of the fair value gap. We're having difficulties passing those highs right there. So what I'm saying here is that the fair value gap that you see at the bottom is my last line of defense. And then if we see a close below that, I'm just going to manually close. Actually using the counter fair value gap to be able to close my trade. So I'm waiting for a comeback because I was thinking that we might come back to the fair value gap that was formed at the sell level. And then I just use this fair value gap to actually close my trade. 
So this is what happened. And in this case, I didn't close because I was scared of the trade. Well, at least that's what I like thinking, but I actually closed because I thought that there was a reason to see it coming back down. And just like I explained in the recording, we eventually went to took out today's high right there. Mm -hmm.